What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Tony Hadnot, a.k.a. The Nocturnist of Different Mind Designs. And I just wanted to make a quick little video today to talk about something that um, doesn't necessarily get brought up a lot in the photography world. And if it does get brought up, maybe I'm missing it or not paying attention to it. But I just feel like it doesn't really get talked about. Um, and that that's basically like these um, bullshit ass, creepy ass photographers out here who are <clears throat> basically out here trying to take advantage of these models um, by basically uh baiting a man using their talents and the reason i wanted to bring it up is because even in, in in my experience as a photographer working with models i've had models tell me certain horror stories that were just like outrageously crazy like i can't believe these guys are actually not even guys i mean whoever just i can't believe these photographers are actually out here going to those means to just basically hook up with a with a model you know what i mean or hook up with these with these people <clears throat> Um, and then also I read an article last week where um, they were talking about creepy photographers and it was one uh, scenario in particular where uh, the photographer basically reached out to the model, you know, with an opportunity to collab, the model agreed, so on and so forth. But before everything was said and done, a red flag rose up because the photographer was basically like, well, hey, I want to be able to see like nude photos of you or see pictures in your underwear and so on and so forth. And uh, it basically was like he didn't basically he basically didn't mention anything about him being like a boudoir a new photographer prior to making that comment which in my opinion I think is a red flag <clears throat> so of course the model got uncomfortable and I, it didn't go through but I'm basically saying all this to say is all you perverts with cameras out there y'all need to relax and the reason I say that is because for us photographers out here who are really trying to build with these models, you know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking it up for us because, you know, uh, like me in particular, like if I'm doing a, uh, if I'm feeling creative and I want to do a particular type of shoot and I'm looking for a particular type of model that I think is real dope, whatever the case may be, if I'm doing like a, a partner, a brand partnership or something like that, you know, I'm looking for the right model for that. And it might be that particular model that I want, but now I can't work with that model because of a past trauma that she had you know, with the photographer she had the last time because he was on some bullshit, you know what I mean? And I just think that's not cool. So, you know what I'm saying? People, photographers in general, just learn how to set your professional boundaries. And this is not a knock to any photographer that, you know, strictly does boudoir or nude because a lot of them are really great photographers and a lot of them are actually very professional and they know how to set the boundaries and they know how to control themselves, you know? I mean, yeah, are these are these models attractive? Are they beautiful? Absolutely. This is why they're in front of the camera. This is why you're creating this art. This is why, you know, you reach out to collaborate with them because, you know, basically their appearance or looks or beauty, whatever the case may be, is considered like artistic. You can go to a very, very creative, <clears throat> get into a very creative space with that. But that doesn't mean just because you think that they're attractive that you have to uh, utilize your skill to bait them in to basically try to take advantage of them that's some foul shit man i just i i can't rock with that because like i said it's messing up for us who are really out here trying to build and uh and do some dope things with these models um and granted you know there are situations i'm not saying that a model and a photographer can't be romantically involved but that's got to be on some mutual shit you know what i'm saying that can't be on no perfect like keep that away from like the profession you know what i'm saying if you attract if two people are attracted to each other nature's gonna take its course and and, and things gonna happen when when and where they're gonna happen but i'm just saying for all these photographers out here these perverts with these cameras you know what i'm saying being all creepy and weird with these ulterior motives that's just not cool man y'all gotta relax with that bullshit man because y'all really 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 are messing it up for us out here who really out here trying to do the right thing man so <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Just just chill on that shit, man, and 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 relax. Um, and and for models, you know, hey, I, I'm I'm telling you this because I've actually heard the, these are like tips that models have given me, um, telling me these horror stories that they have had with, in the past with other photographers. But models, like if any photographer is out here trying to collaborate with you, uh, one model in particular told me what she did was she actually did research. Uh, she does research on the photographer, whoever. Uh, reaches out to her so like if i was to reach out to a model um and she wanted to do her research she would actually connect with other models to see you know other models that i may have worked with in the past to see how the sessions went you know make sure nothing was creepy nothing was weird you know what i'm saying like make sure everything was good that's one thing another thing that i personally like to recommend 
is that if you are going to go on a shoot with these photographers, uh, for one, do your research, but then also never go to a photo shoot alone. Bring a family member, bring a friend, like bring at least another person, another body with you. That way, you know, there's some accountability there to make sure that you're safe. Um, and to make sure, you know, things don't get crazy because, uh, you know, when you alone, you alone with somebody who, especially with somebody who weird and creepy, you know, once you get an awkward vibe, you never know what kind of situation can happen out of that. They're less likely. I personally feel like they would be less likely to do something weird if it's just more than you, because now it puts them in a, in a space to where they have to be professional. So that's just a couple of things I would recommend to models, you know, in, in the future. Um, if a photographer is reaching out to you to do some collaboration stuff um, and I don't want to point out nude and boudoir. Um, but those are usually most instances where these uh, these things happen. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Which is is crazy to me because, you know, for these for these models, for one thing, to strip down to their lingerie or even nude, like it takes a lot of bravery and courage for them to be able to, to do that in front of a photographer. Let alone that photographer is going to post that on social media, or whatever. So now you're bearing yourself to the world. That takes a lot of courage and bravery. So I respect the models for that. But, um. You know what I'm saying? Like the the boundaries have to be there. You have to you have to you have to be able to build trust and so on and so forth to be able to do these things. So all in all, chill out on the bullshit, creepy photographers, models. Y'all make sure that y'all are safe out there. Uh do what you gotta do to make sure that nothing weird happens. Do your research, never go alone, and make some dope shit happen. Um so that's basically all I had to do. I had to get that off my chest. It's been something that's been sitting on my mind for a while now. I just never really got a chance to express it and put it out there. So I'm putting it out there. Uh, but other than that, y'all be careful, man. Happy, happy shooting. Y'all keep doing the damn thing. I see all y'all out there doing some great things. I'm out here trying to do great things. Everybody trying to do great things, man. So y'all stay up, man. Keep shooting. And uh, I'll catch y'all next time, man. Peace out.